we've been looking at spectroscopy techniques which have helped us identify unknown organic compounds. That is, it's a qualitative analysis technique. Now we must look at quantitative techniques in which we know the identity of our sample, but we're interested in how much there is. Let's start with colorimetry. The idea behind colorimetry is that solutions are colored as they absorb different wavelengths that make up white light. For example, if you took a 0.05 molar solution of copper sulfate, you'd expect it to be blue because it absorbs all other wavelengths except those that give it the blue wavelengths of white light. Other wavelengths like red and orange are more readily absorbed so aren't transmitted through the solution and therefore don't reach your eye. So if given samples of copper sulfate, we should be able to guess the concentration by the intensity of the colour in the solution. You would have seen in the lab the difference between a concentrated and dilute solution of copper sulfate. A more concentrated solution tends to have a richer blue colour, so it makes sense that there are more copper ions in solution, and the more they readily absorb those wavelengths of white light, and therefore transmit those that give it the blue colour. It's this principle that can be quantified. Since copper sulfate appears blue, we need to choose a wavelength that would be readily absorbed by the sample. Like we wouldn't use wavelengths for blue since copper sulfate transmit these anyways. A bit like giving me a salad for lunch. I'll pass. However, we know it readily absorbs wavelengths in the reddish yellow part of the spectrum. So it would be best to use those wavelengths. Like giving me a double cheeseburger. I'll always take it. The trick here is to know the complementary colour to the one transmitted, which in this case is these. So we choose a complementary colour to feed our sample and measure how much is being absorbed. Check this setup. White light is passed through a slit and the complementary colour is selected using an orange filter. If you have the money, you can digitally select the wavelength. Some of the orange light is absorbed by our blue copper sulfate and is measured and recorded as the absorbance. Higher concentrations will always result in a greater absorbance. So how do you know the actual concentration? Standards are always produced. You need to obtain the absorbances for a range of different concentrations. For example, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. You plot these bad boys on an absorbance graph, and now you can compare the absorbance of your copper sulfate solution to it. So if the absorbance is 0.5 of your solution, then it has a concentration of, looks like, 0.18 moles per litre.